Hello and welcome to what the title of this video claims the video is gonna be about. Take a plunge into the cold water. Make it hard for yourself in learning TypeScript. Make it as strict as possible because that's the best way you're gonna learn. Here are two things that I propose you implement in your applications to really get the hang of how to write proper TypeScript. And both of these are really important. Let's take a look at number one. This is a Next.js Enterprise boilerplate that promises you right here, ultimate type safety, extremely strict TypeScript. But guess what? It's not true. Let's take a look at their TS config and figure out one very big thing that is wrong with this and that is one certain property missing. This is their TS config. We can see one important thing, the strict true is there. The stricter the TypeScript, the better your TypeScript code will be. However, one really important thing is completely missing that is making this not ultimately type safe. So let's take a look at an example to see what I mean. In a component for me, this is gonna be React. Again, no matter your framework, um, let's declare a string array that is empty. Inside of the component, let's have a const index and we are assigning the first element of that empty array to that index. And then let's console log that. If we hover over the index, we can see this is of type string. That's what TypeScript is telling us. Let's reload our app and let's actually see the result of the console log we have done right here. It should be a string because that's what TypeScript is telling us. But if I go into the console, we can see the type is undefined. This is not so type safe after all. This is pretty bad. And the reason this is undefined is because obviously the array is empty and the first element is undefined, but TypeScript does not recognize that. And to fix that, there's one important property that we want to add in our TS config that honestly the enterprise grade Next.js should have added as well. And that is the no unchecked index access and set that to true. Really, really important that we add this line and that is gonna do the following. If we now take a look at the index, we can see the proper type, the actual type. Now this is a string or undefined, preventing a lot of bugs that could happen, especially if you're new to TypeScript. And what that forces us to do, if we wanted the index to always be a string, for example, is either we do an optional check or we could also oops, assign a certain kind of empty string to the index if this right here was undefined or no. In that case, the second thing right here would be assigned to the index. And thereby we are achieving what we originally wanted, the index always being a string. So that's number one. Now the second thing that I propose you change to really improve your TypeScript skills, and that is for fetching. So take a look at this example again. Let's turn this into an asynchronous server component. This doesn't matter, this is React specific, just so we can make a fetch request. In any other framework, you can also make the fetch request. Quest. We know the type of the res that is going to be response. So that is actually typed out. But if we converted the res.json, the actual data of the fetch request to the data right here and assign that to a constant, we can see the type is any. And if you want to get proficient at TypeScript, you don't want any's in your code. The proper way to handle this would actually be to mark this as unknown because you're not aware of the type this is. Thereby, the data is unknown and you couldn't assign anything. So for example, let's assume that there was a name property in the data. If this was marked as any as previously, this would be no problem leading to potential bugs in our application code. But if we marked this as unknown, it would force us to do an actual type check on the data, but declaring each fetch request as unknown would be really inefficient. So there's one library that takes care of all of this automatically for us, and that is called Total TypeScript. It's been gaining a lot of popularity, over 90,000 installs, and the only thing it does, let me show you, we can just copy the code from right here and install that, yarn add or npm install this dependency right here, hit enter, and simply import that into our file just like this. That's literally all we need to do. It's one line of code massively improving your TypeScript projects. We can just import it like this. And now we can see this has automatically been converted to unknown. So this works with fetch requests, but it also works with something like this, where we have an undefined in or array, filter the Boolean value. And normally TypeScript would infer this as undefined or number. And it also improves the typings of json.parse, where we don't know what we are parsing. For example, let's say json.parse an empty object. Obviously, what is inside of these strings TypeScript has no idea about, right? So this could be anything. And if we didn't have this, if we commented that out, this data right here would be any. 
with the plugin automatically throughout our entire application if we put this into a .d.ts file making it globally available all or parsing all our fetches would be converted to unknown forcing us to do an actual type check on them so the proper implementation if you want to use this in your project is to not insert it at a page level but instead let's go into our source folder and declare a new folder called types and i already have a types folder and in here let's say reset.d.ts and literally just paste that line and across our entire application that's going to do exactly the same thing because .d.ts files typescript definition files are available globally hey if you reach this point of the video i appreciate you would you be interested in a code review where you send me as a beginner your code repository with react or next code because that's mainly what we're focused on and then i do a review of like two or three things that you could do better and put that in the form of a video if you are feel free to dm me on discord you'll find it in the description and check out this video right here with a cool typescript tip that i want to share with you people are really loving it judging by the comments and that's gonna be it for me for this video I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.